Good morning. Today we're here at the Kroger Marketplace. We're going to go in, check out some of the prices, a lot of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. Just as we come into Kroger here, I did want to point out again, which we did point out in our Wednesday video, they do have peaches on sale. However, this is a digital coupon deal. So you have to make sure that you scan the QR code here or click on the digital coupon in your Kroger app and you can get these for 99 cents a pound. Okay, so most of the produce and everything we kind of went over in our last trip to Kroger just a couple days ago. Um, we went over all the produce and a lot of the meat and stuff like that. We're going to cover a lot of the things that we missed and a lot of the things that you guys have asked about. One of the things here is the Food Saver products right here. Uh, which they don't sell at the other Kroger, but I wanted to point out uh, we've had a few people that say they haven't been able to find the vacuum sealed rolls. They do sell them here, and it's a shame that they're not on sale anymore. These are getting really expensive. Uh, Fifty dollars for this one here. This one comes with basically five vacuum seal rolls. Uh, three of them is 11 inches by 16 feet, and the other one here is two of them for eight inches by 20 feet. But that is $50 now, and they have the three vacuum seal rolls, 8 inch by 20 feet for $32.99. So if you would like to see the video that we did a couple days ago where we go over a lot of the sales on the meat, we also go over a lot of the digital coupons, I will leave that video in the link in the description box below. So if you want to check that out after this video, we go over a lot of different sales. Okay, so I just wanted to point out that in the Asian food section here, we are noticing a lot of inconvenience stickers. We've been getting more and more comments on a lot of this stuff, so I wanted to point this out. Um, I mean, this is, I don't know, it's more than we've ever seen. This is usually packed, usually packed, and it's getting pretty low. So if, you know, if there's anything in this area that you need, I would keep this in mind. And we are starting to see some inconvenience stickers on some regulars too. Uh, even rice a they have one on this uh, Mexican style rice, rice aroni. Sorry for the inconvenience. Um, now, we probably see more of these stickers around in the marketplace because they carry a lot more stuff. So, if they don't have it in, as soon as they start getting it in, they'll take the sticker down, obviously. But also wanted to point out they do have the rice nor sides, $1.25 a piece. But as we notice here, it does say low price. So whenever we see low price at Kroger, that usually tells us that it's going to be going up soon. And we are seeing inconvenience stickers on the Kroger spaghetti as well. It's been getting lower and lower, and lower every week. Uh, we saw six, seven months ago they couldn't even get in the Kroger spaghetti. So this doesn't surprise me too much. What kind of surprises me though is that they put them up on the cremette also. Um, on the fettuccine here on the angel hair pasta and you know they'll put them up on the ones that they're going to have trouble getting in and we did not notice these last week these are brand new um so i would keep that in mind you may want to buy up one or two if you use Clement. okay so i had a request to check out some of the canned tomatoes and diced tomatoes and to look at the prices on them <laughs> glad you mentioned that look at this these are a dollar a can now I mean, I don't usually, we usually buy hunts, but I mean, look at hunts. I mean, we haven't bought canned uh, tomatoes in a while. We usually use fresh, but three for four dollars, that makes them a dollar thirty-four a piece. Dollar thirty-four. These used to be like 89 cents. These were 79 cents when they went up from 69 cents. Uh, probably a, a month ago or so since the last time I checked, the dice, they're all a dollar a piece and they have low price. So do they plan on going up higher than that? That's ridiculous. Also, someone wanted me to check on the diced tomatoes and green chilies at the Rotel, but you haven't been able to find them. They do have them here at Kroger. Uh, I only see the mild. They are three for four dollars. You do not have to buy three on this deal, though. They're a dollar thirty-four a piece. Man, these are getting expensive. Okay, so a few videos back, I had mentioned something about the grilling beans. We had found them for two dollars. And someone asked me to check what they were at Kroger. Uh, you're right, they're a lot more. I, I thought it would be right around $2, maybe the last time I checked. $2.69. $2.69 now for these. That is crazy. Um, still $2.69 for the Bush's original, the big can. They are on sale, $2.50. Uh, 
a can this week though not much of a savings but a little bit i will say these grilling beans are really good they're uh really marinated well the steakhouse recipe is really good haven't had them in a while jessica usually uh makes her own beans she'll use van camp wow even these have gone up big can dollar 99 229 for the regular price now we usually just get one can it's been a dollar 19 for a while actually haven't seen the big cans in a while i don't think they have them at the other kroger oh i'm kind of glad that i walked down this aisle looks like kroger canned vegetables did go up again all the regulars are 89 cents that'll include the corn green beans peas jeez and these were 79 cents last week. Also, uh, some of the other ones that were 85 cents have gone up to 99 cents. Uh, this is the white and the gold corn, 99 cents. Jeez, still 58 cents a can at Walmart and 58 cents a can at Aldi. So, way cheaper there. And 59 cents a can at Meyer. So, definitely a little cheaper at those stores than here. This is crazy. Stuff just keeps going up. Okay, moving over to some of the dairy we missed. Um, they do have Sargento cheese on sale uh, for $2.50 for the sliced cheese packs here. So that's a great deal. I know we have a lot of Sargento fans on the channel here. They have a bunch of digital coupons on the Kroger cheese this week. Now, these are the uh, one pound. So this is double what you would get for like the regular size eight ounce pack for $2.59. So it's like you're spending an extra 90 cents on an extra eight ounces of cheese. Not too bad of a deal. Regularly $3.99 though. So you're only saving 50 cents with this digital coupon. And uh, But 50 cents is 50 cents these days. And you might have to take out a loan to buy Philadelphia cream cheese these days. $3.29 for an eight ounce break. Okay, so there were a lot of people back in the dairy area, so I figure we'll we'll circle back around, check out some of the other things. I've uh, been getting a lot of comments on uh, baby formula again. Apparently some places are pretty much wiped out across the country. Not so much a deal here. Look, they're putting uh, security stickers on these. Uh, that's smart, really. Uh, but yeah, still inconvenient stickers everywhere. Um, and it, they are. We've been getting in a lot more than we had. We saw where it was empty. You know a little over a month ago oh this is nice bubs is supporting families in the usa this is a australian brand and they have been sending this over to us thank you to all of our australian friends for making sure that we've got a enough formula to take care of the babies um this is really cool really cool good to see this um i do gotta say minus the bubs here brand minus this brand this is way lower than it was last week um, so it's good to see we're getting this in here. Yeah, and see, they have now they have raised the price of these Similac six packs up everywhere we go. It was fifteen ninety nine. Now it's sixteen ninety nine. We're struggling to get this stuff in, and then they want to raise the price again. Okay, so since I was over here, I wanted to talk about the band aids for a minute. Uh, we are finally starting to see inconvenience stickers. We've seen band aids have been low around the Cincinnati area here too. Uh, not so much here, they do have a lot, but they are starting to put up the inconvenience stickers. It's something we're gonna have to keep an eye on. We've been getting more and more comments that some people haven't been able to find the Band-Aids that they need. So I am gonna try to point this out, you know, at some other places. But, you know, when we start seeing these pop up, I would buy one or two, couple, make sure you got enough to get by until you can get them again. Found this in one of these middle in the middle aisle here thought i'd point out they do have the pet pride dog food a couple people have asked about the big bags of this this is a 44 pound bag 50 pound bag okay uh for 21.99 down from 25.49 i know dog food cat food's been really hard to get in so this is something we're gonna have to keep an eye on again because we've been getting a lot of comments all over the country that a lot of stores have been wiped out again Okay, so Kroger Marketplace does seem like it's pretty good on dry cat food. Does look like a lot of the popular meow mix is kind of going out again. Um, I just want to show you guys this. This was pretty much packed last week, and now it is not. And we are seeing 
more and more inconvenient stickers every day. Um, we're definitely going to have to keep an eye on this. Also, if you are having trouble getting any cat food or dog food, we always recommend Chewy.com. Uh, if it's in your service area, anything over $49 is still free shipping. Also with Walmart, they do an online service where I believe in some, in most areas, still over $35 is still free shipping, depending on where you live, because um, this is going to be a concern. Uh, we've been hearing all across the country that pet food has been next to out. So, you know, we saw this months and months ago. Uh, they're still getting some in, but not like they were. So we are seeing a couple new things come in here, yet they still have the inconvenience stickers up on the Pet Pride variety packs and the canned dog food. And also, if you can find your, we get a lot of comments on the Caesar packets. If you can find these for cheaper, I, I would buy them. <laughs> I don't know how much they are on Chewy.com, but I mean, I'm sure it's probably cheaper than this. $1.40 a pack. We saw a target that they had shot up to, from $1.19 to $1.50 a pack, so I would keep that in mind. Did just notice that aches went up again. They keep going up, guys. It was $2.19 a little over a month ago, then it went up to $2.29, $2.49 now for 12 eggs. And it's funny what a difference a couple weeks makes. $12.29 for the large 60 count eggs. These were $11.99 not that long ago. But this was the cheapest. Now uh, Walmart's up to near $15 for 60 eggs. And this is probably back to being the cheapest. Um, I don't know what the 18 count is. $3.69. These were $3.39. So these have gone up 30 cents. Uh, man, they just keep going up every week. Like I wanted to say $3.19 because it wasn't that long ago that they were $3.19. We saw a couple weeks ago it was $3.39. Now $3.69. Ugh. more inconvenient stickers on the delight coffee creamer we see they do have them but we're seeing more we saw like one or two last week now they're putting them out everywhere basically tells us that if you find the uh ah, pumpkin spice i guess that's back in uh <laughs> sorry uh they uh but yeah it, you know it is on sale uh that's the duncan okay so they're out of the duncan uh they still have to put the sale sticker on there i guess i haven't seen duncan coffee creamer in a long time so I knew it wasn't going to be long before Kroger's did this. They put low price on the $1.99 regular price now. So you better believe it's going to be going up here soon. Look at this, though. Lots of 2% milk gone. And there, I don't see any in the back. Uh, they do have plenty of whole milk here. But, yeah, I don't know. It's amazing how these videos can take a turn sometimes. I come in here to show a lot of the things that we missed the other day and I find myself finding a whole new thing of products that aren't coming in. Uh, this is something that we're going to have to pay attention to so that we can get the information to you as fast as possible. All the events going on right now, which I won't talk about, but we all know what it is. You know, we need to try and focus on getting the sales as, as quick as we can. So if I can bring the sales out to you and show you what's going on, the easiest ways to do that, I'm going to. Um, you know, it's just... I, as you guys must probably know, I use the inconvenience stickers as a measuring stick of what's coming in and what's not because Kroger's is really the only place that does that. So, you know, the way I look at it is when we see these, we know that we got to get, if these are things that we use, we have to buy them up when we see them. In light of all the events going on too, I thought I would come over and check the toilet paper. I got to say, I mean, it's not like what it usually is. Um, Paper towels here, they never have Tide in this area. I think they've got more Tide than they can deal with. There is a digital coupon, no QR code on this, $12.99 for 32 to 57 count Tide, tide varieties. Uh, oh, Tide pods, okay, I was gonna say, uh, these, th okay, here's the Tide pods. I was like, I didn't see these at first, I'm just looking at this came over here to the other side thinking that there might be a digital coupon on the Tide also. You just have to look online to see if this is because it doesn't say. This just says Tide Pods. You know, more kind of, hey, pick this up. It's $12.99 and then you get to the register and it's like, oh no, it's these. 
paper towels look okay, but the thing that kind of concerns me just a little bit is usually this entire middle section is full of the sales. Uh, now they do have, okay, they don't have, but the digital coupon of the Scott Comfort Plus bath tissue, the 12 double rolls, $3.99, they are out of it. So yeah, they're quilted northern. They don't even have the big ones, the soft and strong. That's what would go there. Um, they do have the soft and strong Kroger brand though, which is arguably just as good. $14.79. This continues to go up in price. It's been $14.79 for a little while, but it does continue to go up in price. So keep that in mind. Well, today has become the day to search for inconvenience stickers. Some people are asking about tissues. Uh, and that you've had trouble finding the Puffs Plus Lotion. That, that's about the only one they have. Uh, they do have a few boxes of the Kleenexes, but none of the big, none of the big boxes of them. Well, they do have the uh, four-pack of the small corner boxes here. Let's see how much that is. Oh, on a digital coupon, too. Uh, $5.99. So we got some comments. Uh, people having trouble finding the frozen orange juice from Concentrate. They do have the Kroger brand, $1.50 a can uh, this week, which is a pretty good deal, uh, $1.89 regularly. Uh, and they have a couple, okay, so it is just the orange, just the orange that looks like it's on sale. Wait a minute. Now they got the limeade and the, yeah, that's orange juice too. Okay, well, a couple of them. I am shocked that Kroger's is able to get in some of the Jimmy Dean sandwiches here. We've been seeing these kind of go out the door again. Uh, you know, prices are up on them, but uh, they haven't gone up in a while. Uh, the breakfast burritos, yeah, those were $6.99 not that long ago, $7.29 now. But the eight count of the croissants has been $11.99 for a while, which is ridiculous. But um, we saw they were pretty much out at Walmart. And we've been getting comments again, you know, it's, it's the same products as it was last year that people are having trouble finding again. So. You know, I try to keep an eye out on all this stuff. So I did find some of these International Delight coffee creamers, the big ones, uh, for $5.49 on the digital coupon this week. Use up to five times. Only regular price $6.29. So you can use this up to five times, though. So if you find this at your Kroger's, I know we get a lot of comments on the International Delight, and we saw how low it was in the case. So I would buy five of them. Always getting comments on the Chobani yogurt. Did want to point out it is on a digital coupon. We missed this one the other day. Ten of them for eight dollars. These are regularly a dollar fifty a piece. So, I mean, they are on sale. If you don't want to buy ten, they are a dollar each. Uh, ten for ten, but you don't have to buy ten. But if you want the eighty cents a piece, you have to buy ten on the digital coupon deal to get it for that. I knew it was only a matter of time before we started seeing the inconvenience stickers everywhere on the Nature Valley products. Actually, this is the most we've seen in a while. We saw that they were out last week. Uh, they've come back in with a shipment, but we see more stickers than we did the other week. So who knows? This might be the last one we see for a while. Uh, they do have the ones that people always ask about here, the 12 bars. Some people were saying these are a lot smaller. I don't know. I haven't bought these in a while. It is 8.94 ounces. Six, six 1.49 ounces a piece. I'm not really sure what they were before. Um, $1.99 on the digital coupon this week. You can buy up to five times. But most important thing here is we're seeing inconvenience stickers pretty much everywhere. And when I say everywhere, I mean everywhere. Uh, on the uh, Quaker, uh, different granola bars. I mean, it really is, guys. This is... A lot more than we've seen. It's probably the most inconvenient stickers that I've seen in one day from months ago. I remember seven, eight months ago, inconvenient stickers were all over the store. It's not that bad yet, but we are seeing more and more every day. So if you like oatmeal in the single packs, I would go with Kroger. The maple and brown sugar, you know, honestly, it's not as good as the Quaker. Okay, I'll say that right now, but it's close. Add a little bit more brown sugar, put a little bit more brown sugar on it. I feel like it it's still, you know, it's a lot cheaper than this. Uh, $7.19. These are up again from $6.99. Uh, let's see. the Okay, so the old-fashioned oats over here and the quick oats, both are $6.49 now. 
That's pretty much the most expensive we've seen anywhere. Raisin Bran has gone up again for the small 16.6 ounce box. Good to see that it hasn't shrinkflated, I guess. But it is up from $3.99 to $4.49. And that is a lot of different cereals. Uh, they're really pushing. Like, look at this. I don't think I've ever seen this much Kroger Raisin Bran gone. But it's $1.99 a box. I'm not a fan of it. I've, you know, I, I like the Aldi brand. I'm picky on Raisin Bran. I do like Kellogg's. I would probably pay this before I got this just because that's that's my thing but uh yeah you know it's all going up okay so we are starting to see more and more inconvenience stickers on all the ball mason jars uh, they got a couple here um, probably the lowest I've seen it at, at this Kroger now, what is this right here half gallon singles ball um, yeah, uh, we see these at Target, uh, I, they, they do sell them at Meyer. I can never find it at our Meyer, but we've gotten comments that they do sell it at Meyer. They, uh, Target has decent prices on them, um, way better than these prices. I went over this the other day. It's good to see that they've taken the inconvenience stickers down on the Kroger flower, at least. We saw that these had inconvenience stickers a couple weeks ago everywhere does look like those have been taken down so that's good also the sugar we saw some inconvenient stickers on the 10 pound uh domino sugar here for nine dollars and 49 cents uh that has been taken down so that's good inconvenient sticker on that but you know really that's the better deal right there uh ooh, Kroger sugar did go up i think we went over this wednesday these were 239 now they're 259 for the four pound smidge and spoon sugar yeah, I mean, they are pretty loaded down as far as other sugars and everything, so that's good. So if you need it, I would uh, get it while it's hot. You know, when I first came into Kroger here, the first thing I noticed was some inconvenience stickers up in the front with a lot of different things. Saw some candy with inconvenience. I, I've heard that uh, they just said on the news this morning that Hershey's was going to be in short supply, shortages on candy. Halloween candy like really it's not even August 1st yet and they want to say that on the news I don't really understand why but you know it is what it is like I always say we just have to buy up the sales as we see them to try and get good deals or as good a deals as we can so yeah most inconvenient stickers that we have seen at Kroger since last October October November early December we started seeing things come in in December Things got a little low price for Thanksgiving and Christmas, but these are the things that we got to kind of look out for because before we know it, it'll be Thanksgiving again. That's why I pointed out the pie crust the other day at Aldi. I was just like, you know what? Buy it now so you got it, you know? And, and it's like, I don't, I didn't, I, I came in here today. I was excited. I was like, we're going to see a lot of the things. Uh, hopefully, some stuff coming in, but you know, it's okay. We'll all get through it together. Uh, thank you all for being part of the adventure here. I couldn't do it without you. Everything we're doing on the channel here, uh, everybody communicating on things that we can and can't find really does help. Well guys, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video. With all that being said, I am out and always remember the adventure is out there.